Hey folks, I wanted to uh, do uh, to uh, share with you some of my favorite creative tasks um, from those folks that turned them in. Um, let's see here. This one is from uh, John Brierly uh, from uh, Second Period AM Cohort. Um, it is a ping pong game. Now I have to admit I'm not very good at this. Uh, I can, I guess I can move. Uh, yeah, see, it won't let me do anything until I hit R to start. So I, I guess I can move. Let me try. Uh, oop. Let's try to start this guy off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, there we go. Okay, good. I can, there we go. So I can move the paddles up and down and, uh, and then you can hit uh, the ping pong ball by uh, swinging the paddle. Unfortunately, I am just not that great at doing everything at once. Uh, so uh, I don't know. We'll see if I can. Can I, there we go? And uh, 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 oh, look at that! Hey, not bad. Okay, that's about the best I can do. Anyways, um, one of the reasons I like John's uh, ping pong game is because uh, it, it, I like the look of it. And uh, I, 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 there was several people that made pong games, and don't get me wrong, I, the, there are some really good pong games. In fact, in fact, I'll show you another one. Um, I just thought this was cool that there was actual ping pong paddles, and that you actually had to flip them as well as the ball going back and forth and you going up and down. Also, one of the things I liked is that the instructions are right up front as part of the game, and they're clear and easy to read. And Although I did not ask for anybody to make a complete game, this is a complete working game. You could play, you could play a friend in this game. Uh, so anyways, uh, I need to make a collection of these links available to you guys too. All right, let's take a look at another. This uh, creative task was uh, done by Rylan Arndt, uh, and uh, he is from 4th Period AM Cohort. Uh, again, I like the fact that it starts off with a, a menu that gives me some options. Uh, we can go in here, we can look at the instructions of how to play. And when you look at the instructions on how to play, uh, he even has some information on uh, cheat code, which I thought was fun. Uh, what else? There are settings. You can make it uh, faster or slower, and you can make your player color different. I like that. That's cool. I mean, that's the beginning of all kinds of uh, settings and options. And, uh, and then there's different, uh, well, something that he had intended to do is make uh, levels. There are levels in this game, uh, but he, I guess he had the intention of being able to go to different levels directly. Anyways, let's go ahead and start. And I'll try to take you guys through uh, to at least the second level. Actually, I'm going to try to do, I'll, I'll move a little bit. Oh, one other thing that I like is that when uh, you move around the board, instead of just, uh, right now I'm pressing uh, the right key and now I'm pressing the up key. Um, one of the things that I like is instead of having to press the key a million times, he did take advantage of on, uh, on key holds or something like that. I think it's as opposed to on key press. And for that reason, uh, I can just press and hold and it just keeps going. Um, several people made creative tasks where you press a key, but they, you didn't use on key holds. And so I had to press the key a million times. This is an improvement, so I, I really like that. You can also see there's multiple levels, and uh, I think each level looks pretty good. I think the, the style and the, and the look of, of each level is pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Now, I'm going to try to do the cheat code. I've had some problems with this, but I'm going to try. It's bra, B-R-U-H. So... Hey, I got it. I got it on the first try. Yay. Okay. So um, so now I'm in no clip mode, which means I can just barrel through. Now, I got to be honest. I don't think I made it to the last level uh, in this one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and try, especially in no clip mode. Oh, now uh, after I get all the coins. And by the way, this thing is just all around good. You can see what level in you're in. You can see, uh, you can see the coins that you picked up in a particular level. Um, there's indications of how to get to the next level. Level. This last one was tricky. I never did make it through this last one on my own uh, because of the diagonals. It was just too tricky for me. Um, but now with the no clip on and my cheat code, um, maybe I'll be able to make it. Again, notice the, uh, the status down here of the coins. Okay, and then let's see what happens when you finish. I never did finish, so I'm hopeful that I'm not going to be too surprised. <gasps> 
Oh, whoa, interesting. Somehow or another took me back to level two. Okay, um, I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, I just have to say, uh, I'm, I was just very pleased with this particular, let me go ahead and restart it. I was very pleased with this particular one. And again, I was not asking for anyone to make a complete game, but uh, Ryland did quite a good job at overall design and coding. I wanted to share this creative task with you folks just because I thought the attention to detail was so cool and so neat. Um, there is some decent coding in here, uh, but also just look at the, the attention to detail in the picture and the drawing, really nice. Uh, plus, this was definitely a, uh, a, a labor of love. Uh, this is about, uh, about, I mean, this is factual information about uh, a locomotive. And, uh, and uh, this was by Caden Lee. And clearly, Caden has a passion for trains. And uh, this is, he's sharing it. And it's great. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this for you. Let's give it a try. So it says, it says in the, oh, and again, he's provided instructions right in the app uh, so that it's easy for us to figure out. It says, hold the left key to move the engine. So here we go. Oh, now I'm hopeful that you guys can hear the audio. Hold on. I better make sure. Shoot. I do not know how to make sure that the, oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe there's a way. Hold on. Let's see here. I'm trying to make sure that we get the audio. Shoot. I'm not entirely sure of how to get the, <laughs> the, the, the to ensure the audio. Anyways, we're going to try. So here we go. So hold the left key. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds pretty. It's a genuine steam locomotive sound. And in fact, speaking of steam locomotive, here we go. Here is H to play the whistle. Here we go. I hope that you picked up on that. Anyways, this is just a pleasure. Um, I'm going to try to provide all the links to all these apps so you can play with them yourself. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's also release Steam from the Steam Valve. I'll go ahead and do that. Anyways, I, this one just brings me joy. Good job, Caden. All right, let's, let's look at another one. So maybe some of you folks might be able to tell why I like this one. Anyways, uh, uh, so this was made by uh, John Everett and B Joy, and uh, and they these those guys are in second period AM cohort, and uh, they did it as a collaborative task. They worked together, so that was cool. Um, so, anyways, let's take a look and see what they came up with here. I'm going to go ahead and try clicking. Uh, oops, there we go. You know that phrase, and you know who says it. Um, let's go ahead and do another click. Let's join the breakout room. Here we go, joining breakout rooms. And I'll do one more click. Here we go. And sadly, this is a scene that, that we commonly see when we join breakout rooms, a bunch of blank screens. Um, so I have to admit that did sadden me a little bit. But on the other hand, uh, I did have to chuckle because uh, uh, John and B-Joy, uh, definitely you have captured the essence of my class. Uh, so thank you. All right, let's take a look at another one. <clears throat> this one is from Nick J in uh, second period PM. And uh, one of the reasons I like this is because several people did maze games uh, or, or mazes. and uh, But this one worked differently than the others. And I have to admit, when I first tried it, I wasn't really quite sure what to do. Um, I wasn't sure which piece was my piece, the player's piece, uh, and and what else was going on. So anyways, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, it, uh, um, unfortunately, the instructions are not right part of the screen. Um, that might have made it a, a tiny bit better, um, but the instructions were pretty clearly written in the code as, um, as comments, so that was still very good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the up arrow. And oops, let's go ahead and get to the maze. Let's hit the up arrow. Oops, let's try this again. Maybe it's not the up arrow. It, no, it's the down arrow. There we go. I think the problem is, is I'm the yellow guy. I'm this uh, bright yellow guy. And I think that's the problem that I had when I first tried playing this, is I wasn't really sure where I was on the field. But I love this idea that as I'm moving, um, there's obstacles moving around the field that I have to avoid. And so I thought, I thought this is kind of neat. Um, oh, whoops. And then, of course, I crashed into the side. Dang it. Okay, anyways, um, uh, I thought it was a neat twist on the maze game, and it would be really cool to have multiple levels of this. All right. Anyways, let's let's take a look at some others. 
Now, I have to tell you guys that from the beginning, I said that it does not have to be a complete application. Uh, it could just be something. And, uh, and I really like this one. Um, it's, 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 not, it's not like a full game. It's not extensive in what you can do with it. But it, it, really, uh, uh, it really embraces the spirit of the idea of the creative task is that do, you know, get in there and do something. Um, uh, this, of course, if you didn't recognize it already, is, uh, is Kong versus Godzilla. And uh, and it actually does work. Now I have to remember what the keys are. Let me see if I can remember the keys here. Uh, can up? Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead and click over here. Uh, let's see if I can get the up. Oh, there we go. So there's a uh, Kong uh, knocking Godzilla. And let's see what Godzilla can do here. Um, I may need to. Dang it. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes. 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 Now I have to say simple but uh, I, I like the detail that went into creating the graphics that you know that the, there was some work there and also there is some action and quite frankly I think it's sort of fun so uh, so go uh, and, and and I have to give credit where credit is due this is Isaiah Lee and Shane Westernoff from uh, uh, fourth period PM uh, uh, cohort anyways let's take a look at another one all right, here's another one uh, uh, on the uh, Godzilla theme. And again, I, I really appreciate the level of effort uh, that, that uh, this was Saul Juarez. And I appreciate the level of effort in creating the, the graphics and making it visually appealing. Um, again, it's rather simple and straightforward, but that's exactly what I asked for. Um, so let's see here. Now, uh, another thing, uh, another tweak that could have been improved in this one is giving me the instructions in as part of the um, the app um, uh, I did ha here I had to figure out what to do by looking at the code and uh, in the code I saw that uh, uh, Saul is checking if I press the letter L or the letter R so here we go you ready I'm gonna go ahead and press the letter L here we go three two one nope let's try that again three two one not bad not bad I like it I like it well done um, okay and then uh, and then if I press the letter R let's see what happens here there we go so uh, we can go back and forth L R L R L R I like it simple but effective uh, attractive to look at and uh, and it works that this is the again this is the spirit of the creative task it doesn't have to be a full-on game although I'm I was impressed that several of you made some apps that were essentially full-on games all right let's see what else in this creative task this was made by Peyton Lloyd who is in second period PM cohort and uh, Peyton to this kind of reminds me of a country song uh, because uh, many people enjoy listening to country songs uh, but at the same time many of them can be kind of sad and so this this is uh, uh, Peyton uh, uh, was trying to share an experience that she had uh, with the rest of the world and she did it through this creative task um, so uh, this it, what happens here with this guy is that uh, is that uh, if I press the space bar, it'll turn into nighttime. And on four, uh, let me see if I can demonstrate this. So I'm about to press the space bar. Now it's night. And unfortunately, um, uh, some people are not too nice. And some people at night go and they do bad things. And one thing that they do apparently is they throw eggs at people's houses. And so Peyton <laughs> made an app where uh, if it's nighttime, you can throw eggs at the house. And uh, there you go. Uh, so <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't know what you call this. Uh, uh, it is uh, beauty comes from tragedy, something along those lines. Anyways, let's take a look. Uh, there's some more that I want to share with you. This creative task came from Ryan Collier uh, of second period PM cohort. 
Um, uh, in his notes, it says that this game was based off of uh, a Flash game that he likes called World's Hardest Game. And for me, it definitely is. Um, uh, I, I doubt for you guys you would consider it to be quite as hard as it is for me, but I'm, uh, I'm just not a great game player um, or video game player. So anyways, I'm going to try to do this. I got to get my, my square from this left green side to this right blue side, and uh, I'm sure there's a trick to it. Um, I'm going to just try my best to follow this guy in. Ah, dang it. Yeah, it's hard. Okay. So I tried sneaking like right up to the edge, but Ryan, Ryan knew that I'd do that and he, and he made it so that it bumps me for sure. So I can't do that. Here we go. Let's try again and go and come on. Ah, dang it. All right. Anyways, Ryan, I don't know if it is the world's hardest game for everyone, but for me, it certainly is. And ooh, dang it. I, oh, I got it. I got Congrats, you won! Ho ho! Okay. Anyways, I know that some of you would like to try some of these creative tasks, so I'm going to make a list of links available to you. Uh, let's see if I can find one or uh, more to share. Let Let me see if there's any more that I want to share with you guys. By the way, I screwed up on this one. Uh, I forgot to give credit. It was Ryan Collier and uh, Tom McDonald both worked on this together. Sorry, sorry, Tom. Didn't mean to leave you out on purpose. All right, folks, I'm hitting the 15 minute mark on this uh, video, this what I call a demo reel. Uh, and uh, although there was a lot of other interesting projects, a lot of you did good work. Um, uh, I, uh, for whatever reason, these kind of rose to the to my attention uh, more so than some others. Um, this one here is by uh, Josh Adams, uh, who is in second period PM cohort. Uh, and uh, Josh actually did two versions of the same program. It's a pong game, uh, and he did uh, and he did a two player version. And this is a one. Basically, he modified the two player version and made a second game just for single player. Um, so, so I'm going to demonstrate the single player for you to the best of my ability. Again, I'm not that good at doing keyboard stuff, but let let me go ahead and give it a try. So here we go. So there we go. So up and then down. Uh, ah, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. I think you did a great job, Josh. Uh, I have to say, it's fun to play. It has a good classic look. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Pong was like one of the first, I think Pong may have been the first video game. Certainly, it was the first consumer video game ever available. Um, so, Josh, uh, I think you did a wonderful homage to a classic game. And uh, again, the instructions were right there. It was relatively easy to actually work the controls. Um, the look is good. Uh, everything about it was really very nice. So um, uh, again, for, for everyone that took the time to do a creative task, uh, my goal was, was to give you the opportunity to do something that was your very own and not just, not just solve a puzzle that was given to you. And I was just so pleased that, to see so many of you actually experience express yourselves creatively. And for those of you that weren't quite sure what to do or or maybe maybe you 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 well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. For those of you who weren't quite sure what to do or how to express yourself creatively, um, that's okay, but I'm hopeful that some of these did inspire you for some future project. That's it. Take care, guys.